In April 2024, the Google Drive resource app in Schoology was updated, requiring an extra step for putting files from your Google Drive into your Schoology classroom. I'm going to demonstrate quickly how to do this. So let's say I want to add a page to my Schoology classroom, and we're just going to call it Schoology Basics, and I want to add a slideshow from my Google Drive. So I'm going to click on Insert Content, Google Drive Resource App, and this first window you see are the files that you've actually given Schoology permission to use in your course. This is where the extra step comes in. You may not see anything here if this is the first time you've come to the app since it was updated. And you'll begin to see more documents here as you add them to your course. So the document I need is not here. So I'm going to go to Add Resources, Add Files from Google Drive, and I happen to know that I have a scavenger hunt that I want to use. So one thing I found is that this comes up in thumbnail format. And if you toggle here to list view, you can see more of the file name, which helps you find files. Here's the scavenger hunt I want to use. So I'm going to double click it. And now it has been added to this list of resource files that I'm giving Schoology permission to use. To add it now to my page that I'm working on, I simply check it and I import it whichever way I want. I want mine to be embedded so people can see it in the page. And now it is embedded in the page and when I hit create and open the page, you can see that the slideshow is embedded in the page. There's your extra step. No matter what you're trying to add from your Google Drive, you have to go find it and give it that extra permission. Please let your digital learning coach know if you have any questions.